Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. WordPress enthusiasts and designers. Today, we will discover how to link Figma with the WordPress website in 2023. Figma serves as an excellent platform for designing website layouts and integrating it with WordPress streamlines the process from design to implementation. Join me as I demonstrate the steps to connect Figma with WordPress. So without further talking, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, first thing first, I will show you multiple methods in this video. The first method which is by going to your WordPress website and I'm doing it on the old dashboard because there is so many kind of dashboard that WordPress has. So for this specific dashboard, all you have to do is to go on plugins and go to add new. After you do that, you wait until the page loads and then you will be taken to the plugins marketplace of WordPress. Simply then search for the plugin, which is going to be Figma and wait for the page to load again. And now, as you can see here, there is not much of Figma designs that will be available through the actual WordPress plugin marketplace. So how can we actually connect the Figma with WordPress without like finding it here? Well, as you might know, of course, we'll use the upload plugin method. So simply, you have to go and search for WordPress Figma plugin and Figma to WordPress, as you can see here or you can just go for whatever thing you find and basically the next thing is to open this or you can simply read this so for example for WordPress website from Figma you can see that create and manage your WordPress website from your Figma designs no code required free forever so how can we actually convert your Figma designs into WordPress themes and update your websites on there to go so, if you already have a hosting, a WordPress website, or simply you want to go through all of the process of buying the domain, the hosting, setting up and everything, etc. And you only need your WordPress theme. You can also convert your Figma designs into themes in a few clicks. The first thing to do is to go to Intelligent Layouts for better responsiveness, no matter how you design. Support for multiple resolution per page, support for native, WordPress elements, no need for naming, conversions, design as you like, no absolute position, need unless absolutely necessary as a human developer would do. <laughs> okay, this is like a joke here. So ECO ready. Our technology improves with every design. So if you need help, you have to go and contact them. But generally to actually do that, simply as I said, all you need to do is open in, click on this open in and simply here choose one of your designs so let's see this design and as you can see here it is so here what we're going to do is run this AI so this will improve our website so let's run it and now all you need to do is to connect to Figma to WordPress. To do so, you have to connect to your taco. So please enter your email to start. Let's start, for example, with our email. Here we go. Dot com, start now. And here, enter your Figma URL. So I'm going to copy this one, or we can share here. Copy link, then let's paste it over here. Let's wait. And as you can see here, we should paste it and we should wait until this loading completely. Please enter a valid Figma URL show link. We cannot access the file in the URL you entered. Are you sure it's a valid Figma URL and you enable the view permissions for everyone? So as you can see, I have to actually give the view permission for everyone. So only people invited to this file can access. Let's anyone with the link. Yep. And then copy link. And then we can do that and normally now it should be available for everyone here we goes so now we are on the step one step select frames as main page for publishing add as many screen sizes frames as needed so we need to select frames as main page 
So for that, as you can see here, you should simply have to add page. This content is blocked. Contact the owner fix issue. But basically, let me just turn the ad blocks. So here we go. Here we go. And there we go. Uh, here now, let's do that again. So we can fix that. So now it should be working without any problems because I was doing it while my ad block was running and it is not convenient because you know ad block will stop a lot of things from working that's why it didn't work so in case you had the same problem just make sure that you fixed it and it should be fixed unless it is a problem for fake from figma themselves so here as you can see i can't really add it since i don't really have that much let me just click here okay i can add it this is very nice here we can add the same thing i can just keep adding as much things as i want and it they will be just adding one by one i can select everything as once and it can be added so the next step is basically after you select all of these frames is the conversion so they will basically convert this design into an html and css code and the step three is receiving the code now what you should do after you save that page simply go to appearance and go to your theme builder or theme editor through here after you do that, simply select to your assets and try to find the style or any page that you want to change. So there is a theme header, theme footer, and simply put there the code that you have received. And just like that, you have copied the design that you have made in Figma into your WordPress website. The same thing goes for WordPress website, which is the newest version. So you can literally do the same thing through the newest versions. Just go to appearance, as you can see here, customize. And through here, you can either click here to additional CSS and add a new CSS to your page, or simply go to your appearance, go to your editor, and through there, you can literally uh, edit the page, edit everything through it and manage the whole website right through the editor and add the code inside of the editor make sure to put for example uh, for me i have only the login so i can put it anywhere but if you had the whole page well in that uh, case you should literally just remove like erase the whole code and with of course without these at the top just starting from html give the others and then just paste it there and it will start working for you without any problems so basically guys these are the ways on how you can literally link your figma account or designs with your wordpress website so guys that was the end for today's video if you have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial bye bye